Jennifer warming up, she's going to be nervous, but you know, I know you're going to take it to your hearts because uh, she's Bill Shackley's granddaughter. Yeah. Please welcome to have a chat to you with the lovely Karen Gill. Come on, Karen. Yeah. Good afternoon, my name is Karen Gill and I'm very proud to say that gra my granddad was the great Bill Shank. <laughs> Almost 40 years ago my granddad stood on these steps in front of a crowd that had not come to see a triumphant, triumphant Liverpool side but to welcome home a side that had been defeated in the 1971 Cup Final. Then again, in 2005, over a million people turned out to celebrate the magic of Istanbul. Whether it's a success or a failure, we support our team. And my granddad recognised it. When he said he had never seen such a show of red strength, well, he would have been proud to see such a, red a show of red strength again today. Thank you so much for all turning on. We're all here today to show our support for the Spirit of Shankly. I believe the Spirit of Shankly represents all that my granddad loved about Liverpool supporters. Its aims and objectives are to protect the club from the type of owners that we currently have and those appointed by them and the banks. Um, people who pay lip service to what it means to be a Liverpool supporter and they pay lip service to the Liverpool way. The Spirit of Shankly is a supporters union which is there to represent anyone motivated to try and protect this great club. And today, in launching our bid for supporter ownership, they represent all that's best about what being a Liverpool supporter should be. My granddad was a socialist in its proper sense. said that the socialism I believe in is working, everyone working for each other, everyone having a share of the rewards. It's the way I see football, the way I see life. Those words echo what the Spirit of Shankly Supporter Ownership Scheme is all about. It's an opportunity for everyone to be a part of the club that we love. It will make certain that the club remains safe and protected from what's happened over the last four years and make sure it never, ever happens again. As my granddad said, the holy trinity of players, managers and fans will be the most important thing again. You're going to hear from people this afternoon about how the support ownership scheme will work. It's for everyone. It recognises what individuals can achieve as part of a larger movement. So don't be put off by those who say it can't be done. I'll bet there were those who told my granddad that he couldn't improve on what he found when he joined Liverpool Football Club in 1959. But what he and others did over the following decades built the bastion of invincibility that he always envisioned. Ray! Bill Shankly knew the strength of our supporters. He once said, to the many thousands who come to Anfield to worship, Anfield is not a football ground. It's a sort of shrine. These people are not simply fans, they are more like members of one extended family. Now it's the turn of our current extended family to reclaim our club. 
I am proud to be the patron of the Spirit of Shankly and I'm proud to be here today to witness the declaration of our independence from the current owners. <laughs> Football is for the people and it's now time for us, the people, to reclaim our game. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.